For 30 days, I ate only meat and water and absolutely nothing else. And it's completely changed my life. And if you were to give me a lottery ticket right now for $1 billion and you said, you can have this billion dollars, but you're going to get amnesia and you're going to know nothing about the carnivore diet, or you can rip up the lottery ticket, it wouldn't take me a split second, a blink of an eye to rip up that lottery ticket and continue along my path. That's how life-changing this has been for me. And we're going to talk about that in today's video. <laughs> So when I tell people I ate meat for 30 days, they think I'm crazy, but let me present it to you a little bit of a different way. This is an elimination diet. Maybe I'm feeling better not because I ate meat every day, but because I'm not eating all of that other stuff that I was eating before. Besides ripping up the lottery ticket for $1 billion, knowing what I know now, 30 days later, if you were to tell me, if you would do this carnivore diet, you're going to gain 20 pounds. In reality, I actually lost 20 pounds over the last 30 days, but if you told me you were to gain 30 pounds on this diet, I would still do it for all of the other amazing benefits I've had from this diet. It's truly been life-changing. I just want to preface this video and say I didn't do this diet to lose weight. And I'm not judging anyone or telling anyone, hey, you should be doing this diet or you shouldn't be eating this way or you shouldn't be doing that. The main reason I'm doing this is because this diet has been life-changing for me and I wish that someone had told me about it earlier. And one big issue I have, besides all the other ones I'm going to talk about, is heart issues. I was born with an irregular heartbeat and I've been on heart medication for a long time. And when I heard this heart surgeon, Dr. Ovadia, talk about the carnivore diet and talk about nutrition and eating and how it affects our heart, amongst other things, I had to listen to what this man had to say. Dr. Philip Vadia, the world-renowned heart doctor, has conducted over 3,000 heart surgeries. His book, Stay Off My Operating Table, Fighting to Make America Healthy Again. People who are doing a carnivore diet um, and eating all, or at least primarily, uh, animal proteins, uh, they usually don't require supplementation. Um, and they uh, are thriving on long-term carnivore diets. And I think it's a more ancestrally consistent diet. So my research into the carnivore diet started with Dr. Ovedia, uh, but then I started learning a lot more from others, such as Dr. Barry and Dr. Jordan Peterson. I heard on the Joe Rogan experience talking about his experience with the carnivore diet. You're on this carnivore diet yes. now. Yes, I am not a dietary expert, so I'm now right. speaking as an uninformed citizen. Okay, so this is what happened. I stopped snoring the first week. I thought, what the hell? I started waking up in the mornings. I'd never been able to wake up in the mornings my whole life. Then I lost seven pounds the first month. Then I lost seven pounds the next month. Then I lost seven pounds the next month. I lost seven pounds every month for seven months. It's like I'd throw away all my clothes. And my psoriasis disappeared. And I had floaters in my right eye, and they cleared up. And she said to me, um, quit eating greens. And I thought, oh, really? Jesus. Says, Michaela, try it for a month. I'm better now probably than I've ever been in my life. And I haven't been taking antidepressants for a whole year. Here's the coolest thing. I've had gum disease since I was 25. It's gone. One of the other things I wanted to mention is it's really funny too when I talk about my diet and people are like, oh, that's so unhealthy. Meanwhile, they're eating a cupcake and a Rice Krispie treat and their toast and all this garbage food. Let's imagine a football field 100 yards wide. And imagine that is the entirety of human beings on earth eating. If you look at all of that, and then you just take a little sliver of paper right on the one yard line, this represents how humans have been eating the standard American diet that most people have been eating for the last hundred years. Processed food, tons of sugar, high fructose corn syrup. We eat deep fried birthday cake for breakfast and it's normal. Those are donuts, by the way. And since that time that we've been doing that, if you look at obesity rates and you look at heart disease and you look at strokes and you look at cancers, it's all following exactly up as all as we've been eating this crappy, horrible food. It's all, and it's just, if you take the whole hundred yards, it's right here. Well, what was that whole time before that hundred yards? People eating more like I do. People eating meat, hunters and gatherers, they would eat a ton of meat. And then if they're lucky, they get a little couple berries here or some vegetables here or there. That was it for almost the entirety of human evolution. That was it. And just this little tiny sliver now, people are eating like most people eat the standard American diet and they're getting fat and they're getting sick. And those are the same people when I tell them how they're eating. Oh my God, you're gonna kill yourself. You're gonna have a heart attack. Meanwhile, I've never felt better in my life. The biggest thing after 30 days is I feel superhuman. 
I literally feel like a superhero or something. It's insane. It's amazing what's happening to me. I feel better than I have my entire life. I'm stronger, I'm faster, I'm smarter. The sleep I get is absolutely amazing. Before doing this diet, I had some skin issues and I had arthritis, horrible arthritis in my toe. It was so bad that for 18 months, it kept getting worse and worse to the point that I was limping and favoring the other foot. I went in and they did an MRI and I had so much arthritic fluid in my toe, they wanted to do surgery on the toe. And that is almost completely gone. I still have some pain in the toe, but the limp is gone, favoring the foot is gone, and I'm confident that it's gonna go away completely. It's 85% better. It's completely life-changing, that alone. Plus, I used to have arthritis in my back. I'd get um, inflammation and stuff in my elbows. All of that is gone. Mentally, it's so hard to describe, but the clarity I have in my brain after 30 days, the best example I can give you is, my favorite show is Jeopardy. Jen and I watch it almost every single day. And after going on this carnivore diet, my cognitive ability is just through the roof. The other day we were watching Jeopardy and the first round, I ran the first round. I've never done that my whole life. I got every single question correct. Kind of fun. And it's so weird because I'm answering things that I don't even know I know the answer to. I'll spit on an answer. I'm like, I don't, re I don't even know why I know that. And then it's correct. Besides that, my stomach never gurgles anymore. Before I did this diet, my stomach was gurgling and bubbling and I was farting like 500 times a day. I'm lucky if I get one fart out now a day. I'm not even joking on that. The stomach issues are completely gone. It's like healed my stomach. My dandruff went away. I have no dandruff. My skin is looking better. I still have some little bags under my eyes. I've had these my whole life if you watch my YouTube channel for seven years. But before this, these were like Tommy Lee Jones deep, deep bags in my eyes. Those are getting better. Those, those are going away as well. I barely sweat anymore. I'm working out all the time now. I hardly ever worked out before. I would do stuff around the homestead and that was my excuse for not working out. I'm gonna go cut down a tree. We have a little home gym now. I'm in there every day. I have so much energy. Last night we were up till 10.30 at night just uh, working and doing projects that I never would have gotten done before. My gums are healthier. I have no inflammation in my body. When you have no inflammation, you will feel amazing. About a week ago, Jen came down with a bug and the triplets all got sick as well. All three of them were out of school for four days and I was perfectly healthy the whole time. I was waiting to get sick and I never did. Before I had this weird, they call it a hypnic jerk. It's like a twitch and before I'd go to bed, I'd be like that. It felt like an electrical shock right here and I would do it over and over again before I'd go to bed. Jen and I were sitting down watching TV before we'd go to bed. I would get these crazy jerks. Those are completely gone as well. My hair looks better. I don't know what it is. It just looks healthier. It looks thicker. It, it looks, it just feels healthier. Blood pressure is improved. One of the biggest changes though is the sleep. The sleep is amazing. The sleep is worth the price of admission alone. I would do this diet for the rest of my life if I could sleep this way. I've never slept this good my entire life. My legs feel like warm butter or something. I don't know what it was before, if I had like restless leg syndrome or something, but I would toss and turn and twitch all night and I'd wake up and I would never feel rested. And it becomes a new normal and I think this happens for a lot of people where they're like, oh, I got eight hours of sleep, I'm good. But are you really getting that deep regenerative sleep that's gonna help your body? I think most people aren't. And I think those same people are the ones that end up with depression and anxiety. And I know it firsthand because I've had horrible depression, horrible anxiety. I've been on every medication you could have for depression over the course of my life. I haven't been on any for a couple of years, but um, on this diet, I have no anxiety whatsoever. No depression whatsoever. The mood is great and I've got energy and motivation like I've never had before. I can't, I feel like when I was a kid and I'd sleep in on a Saturday morning till like 11 o'clock in the morning and you wake up and your legs just feel kind of dead and heavy and like you're like, not just your brain is sleeping, but your body's actually resting and sleeping and regenerating. That's what it feels like. The only difference is it happens every single night. I wake up in the morning and my legs just feel amazing. I feel so well rested. I really believe that sleep is one of the most important things you can do and I think it's one of the things that people look over so much and they're just like, yeah, I got eight hours of sleep, I'm good. There's this neuroscientist and sleep expert named Matthew Walker. All it takes is one hour because there is a global experiment that's performed on 1.6 billion people across 70 countries twice a year and it's called daylight savings time. 
Mm. Now, in the spring, when we lose an hour of sleep, we see a subsequent twenty-four percent increase in heart attacks. What? In the fall, in the autumn, when we gain an hour of sleep, there's a twenty-one percent decrease in heart attacks. So it's bi-directional.、Wow. That's how fragile and vulnerable your body is to even just the smallest perturbation of sleep. One hour. One hour is、That's、all it、insane. takes. That's insane. Yeah. It can change everything in your life. Getting poor sleep causes depression, anxiety, and then it can lead to diseases and health issues. It weakens your immune system. And I'm telling you this, and you're listening. And so many people are just like,、eh, I'll, I'll get some more sleep. But they're not going to put in the effort to do it, and this diet has put in the effort for me. I've tried other things: giving up caffeine, not watching TV before bed, not looking at your device. Those things all help as well. This thing, this diet, has been the biggest game changer. Day one, I stopped snoring. Day one, my sleep was improved in one day. And, and when I say I have sleep issues, I'm not joking. I've gone in and had sleep studies. I'm diagnosed with、uh, sleep apnea. I had a sleep study where I woke up gasping for air, so I was on a CPAP machine for years, and then I did keto and I lost a bunch of weight, and I wasn't snoring quite as much, so I quit it. And then that was a couple of years ago from now, and I've since started snoring again. I've been snoring for about a year, and one day on this diet, I completely stopped snoring. And Jen will attest to that. I haven't snored since. It's it's amazing. And when I'm not snoring, I'm not stopping the breathing. Or having the sleep apnea issues, and the sleep is so much better. And then you wake up the next day, and you're refreshed, you're rejuvenated, your immune system is strong, and you're ready to go about your day. So some people might ask and know that I've been doing keto for many years. I did a really popular keto video, a rant,、uh, about it two years ago or maybe a year ago, and that video has been going crazy. And I love keto, and I still think this is just extreme keto, basically. But the people might be like, "Well, why didn't keto work for you?" Keto did work for me, and I lost a lot of weight. The problem I was having with keto now versus when I did it ten years ago is there's so many keto foods out there now that seem to make it easier, but I think are really messing people up. So I can go to the grocery store now and I can get keto bread, keto tortillas, keto ice cream. I try to avoid a lot of those, but I found myself on keto this last year, just creeping into those things again. I'd have the keto tortillas and I'd make a quesadilla. Well, then I'm having this weird processed tortilla that's low carb, but I always felt like it was kind of pushing me out, and then my stomach would be gurgling and bubbling, and then I'd get inflammation in my elbows and my foot, and it would just lead to more and more issues, and then the sleep started getting worse as I would eat more of those things. Instead of thinking this crazy guy is eating meat for 30 days and eating ribeyes every single day, think of it this way: maybe I'm feeling better not because I ate meat every day, but because I'm not eating all of that other stuff that I was eating before. And stuff that you and I would deem healthy, like a salad, for example. Now, doesn't it sound crazy saying a salad is going to mess you up? So when I'd have a salad, I would like to have、uh, different types of lettuce or spinach in the salad, tomatoes, cucumbers, carrots. I'm on keto. I'd shred some cheese on there, and then I'd have some ranch dressing. That was my favorite. Well, now when you look at all of those things, a lot of those are uncooked vegetables and plants. Have defense mechanisms. Some plants have thorns. Some plants have toxins in them. A famous professor that did a big、uh, study on this, he was basically saying plants are trying to kill you. Plants have defense mechanisms, so you don't eat them. Those are toxins. And when you eat those toxins, what happens? You get skin issues. Oh, I've got rosacea. I've got a rash. I've got、uh, rheumatoid arthritis. I've got all these issues. In my opinion, a lot of those are. Reactions to eating toxins that are in our food. All the processed garbage we eat now. You go down the grocery store aisle, and almost almost everything has processed and has toxic chemicals and God knows what in it. And you eat it, and then you just feel junky. And you do it again the next day, and you feel crappy. And then it starts to become normal, and you just think you're supposed to feel this way, and you're not. So my main goal for doing this diet wasn't necessarily to lose weight. It was to fix all the other issues, mainly my foot issue and the arthritis I was having in my foot, and that arthritis I was starting to get in my elbows and my lower back as well. I went to so many doctor's appointments. I've had injections into my foot. They're giving me antibiotics. They're giving me pills, and nothing is working. So a lot of people do this as an elimination diet. So it's not that we're eating meat for 30 days. Let's see what the meat does. No, it's we're getting rid of and eliminating all those other things that were potentially causing us issues. A lot of people, it's dairy or milk. Other people, it's gluten. A lot of people, it can actually be things in vegetables. There's toxins in vegetables, and certain vegetables can cause a reaction in you that could cause arthritis or cause inflammation. And one of the biggest misconceptions out there, and that a lot of people are thinking when I say I've been eating meat for 30 days, is, oh my gosh, you're going to die of a heart attack. You're eating meat. Meat causes heart attacks. 
That is a myth. That has been proven wrong by almost every doctor out there now, and I urge you to go do some research on it. What causes heart disease, strokes, and heart attacks is not eating meat. It's inflammation. It's inflammation. And inflammation is caused by eating sugar and processed garbage your body doesn't like. Your body becomes inflamed. Your face becomes inflamed. Your hands become inflamed. Your arteries, the wall of your heart, everything becomes inflamed. And then you have a heart attack. And back in the early days, they used to blame that on the cholesterol, ignoring the inflammation altogether, which was caused by the other things you were eating. They blamed it on the meat. It's since been proven it's not the meat. One of the other reasons I wanted to do this diet was for my daughter, Lily. She's 18 years old, and many years ago, when she was a teenager, she had open heart surgery, and it was crazy. And you know, one of the things I was just thinking, the worst part of the open heart surgery for a parent was, of course, the surgery and making sure everything would go okay and seeing your daughter suffering and things like that. But one of the worst things that happened to us was when she went into that surgery, it was going to be eight hours. So Jen and I were sitting downstairs in the hospital waiting for the phone to ring. They'd call us if anything went wrong or anything happened. Well, about an hour and a half into the surgery, the phone rang. And they're like, we can't do the surgery. And we're like, we thought maybe she died on the table. Something happened. It was horrifying. And the surgeon, God bless him, he saved her life. And I have a ton of respect for him. He came down and told us they can't do the surgery because she had a little skin rash over the part where they were going to open uh, her chest up. And later it turns out she has this thing called HS. It's a skin condition where you get a rash and it's inflammation and you get it's blotchy and you get acne on it. And she had gone to the doctor for that many times before. And this was years ago. She's gone to the she's gone to probably four or five different dermatologists all over the state of Wisconsin. They've given her every type of medication you could think about for uh, HS, which again, it's like acne, it's a skin condition. She has it on her back and on her chest. And when I was learning about this elimination diet or carnivore diet, uh, one person I listened to was Dr. Jordan Peterson's daughter. And she had whole, uh, really bad skin conditions and horrible arthritis. I was breastfeeding, getting out of bed. My wrist buckled. I thought I have to do something because I'm worried I'm going to drop my baby. The arthritis was back. I was itchy everywhere. And I was like, how is this possible? If I'd experienced remission, why isn't that diet working anymore? And I cut everything out except for beef. And two weeks after doing that, thinking I'm nuts, hopefully I don't get vitamin deficiencies, the itch went away and my joints started to feel better. Four weeks after that, I stopped crying in the morning. And five months after that, the anxiety lifted and I was back in what I felt was heaven compared to how I'd been living. All beef, all lamb, salt, and water. My mom went on the diet and her osteoarthritis went away. My dad went on the diet and he lost 70 pounds, he had psoriasis, that went away. I've talked to thousands of people with autoimmune disorders who've done similar things and seen similar results. I've been talking about this diet to spread awareness in hopes that the medical community can take something like this seriously. As a young person, she had a hip replaced or something, I think when she was 17 years old. So she's a young lady like my daughter who's had similar issues like my daughter. Michaela Peterson has been doing this diet for several years now. It's completely changed her life. She's like a completely different person. Then her father, who's very famous, Dr. Jordan Peterson, started doing it. You're on this carnivore diet yes. now. Okay, so this is what happened. I stopped snoring the first week. I thought, what the hell? I started waking up in the mornings. I'd never been able to wake up in the mornings my whole life. Then I lost seven pounds the first month. Then I lost seven pounds the next month. Then I lost seven pounds the next month. I lost seven pounds every month for seven months. It's like I'd throw away all my clothes and my psoriasis disappeared. And I had floaters in my right eye and they cleared up. And she said to me, um, quit eating greens. And I thought, oh, really? Jesus, Michaela, try it for a month. I'm better now probably than I've ever been in my life. And I haven't been taking antidepressants for a whole year. Here's the coolest thing. I've had gum disease since I was 25. It's gone. Completely changed his life. And he's been doing it for a couple of years now too. So I'm like, maybe this is worth looking into and I'm going to do it on myself first and see what it works, how it works, is it working for me? And within days, I was seeing significant, amazing results. So I talked to Lily, my 18-year-old daughter. I told her all about it. I said, you're 18. You can decide if you want to do this or not. I'm not telling you to eat meat for 30 days. I'm telling you to eat, eliminate those things that I think are causing the inflammation. It's causing your HS. And she still has a wound from her open heart surgery that's having trouble healing because of this HS. Back to my earlier point, she's been to five or six different um, dermatologists. And I'm just going to say this right now, shame on you dermatologists. Shame on you. I have a lot of respect for doctors and everybody. Not one of these five dermatologists recommended changing her diet. Every one of them were throwing pills at her, creams, pills. The last one, it was so extreme. They're like, we have this, it's a really harsh pill. We know that for three years now, you've been trying everything else and nothing we've told you has worked all these appointments all over the state, nothing is working, nothing's making this HS better, and it's gonna completely shut down your immune system. And maybe it'll work. 
And you know it's not going to work. We know it's not going to work. And it could shut down her immune system. After, like I just said, she had a blood clot and nearly died in her house and she has all these other health issues. That's what they're suggesting. Not one, not one of them said, maybe it's your diet. So long story short, Lily started the diet uh, about a week after I did. So I'm past my 30th day now. She's got about seven more days to go before she hits her 30th day. After about a week, what do you guys think happened? Just do leave, leave a little guess. Leave a comment down below. Her HS, acne, scars, inflammation, redness. She has it on her face. She has it on her chest. She has it on her back. Her back, her whole back had it on it before. It's almost completely gone. It's miraculous. It's just a little bit on this side of her back still. And every day that she progresses, it's going away. She walked out of, the, the, of her room the other day and Jen and I were like, both of us looked at each other. She looks like a different person. Her face, her skin is clear and the red inflammation is completely gone. And her sleep is improving and she's losing weight. She's lost a whole bunch of weight, which wasn't the purpose of this diet. It was the purpose of the diet was to get rid of the skin issues. It's just amazing. Since that time as well, my mom went on the diet also. And she's she lives in a camper with my stepdad and they're traveling all around the country. And she had all sorts of issues as well. Issues with um, her knees and skin issues. And so she was uh, about two weeks after I started and she's seeing absolutely amazing results. She just told me the other day, she's like, I'm gonna do this the rest of my life. I'm not gonna change this whatsoever. She feels better than she has her entire life. Her skin issues are clearing up. She had arthritis and fluid in her knee and she was going to need knee surgery and that's clearing up and she's losing weight and her sleep. She, she emailed me the other day said she had the best night's sleep of her entire life. This is the other epiphany for me, right? There's so many people out there with skin issues like Lily with the HS or they have acne or they have um, psoriasis or peeling skin or issues like that. I truly believe that in almost all of those cases, it isn't that it's some unidentifiable thing like the uh, dermatologists say. It's the food we're eating. It's what you're putting in your body. You're having an allergic reaction. Just like if someone ate peanuts and they were allergic to it, they'd get inflammation, their throat might close up. Why? Because they're allergic to the peanut. It's the same way. People that are having these HS and skin issues and acne and all these things, it's inflammation caused by a bad reaction to some of the food you're eating and you're eating so many different types of food. And then it's compounded by this fact. Think about this. When I eat meat, I eat beef, that's all that's going in my stomach and that's all my stomach has to process. Now, think about this, if I were to eat a salad like I would before, which is way healthier than potato chips or french fries, don't get me wrong, but I'd eat a salad with cucumbers, um, guacamole, cheese, olives, tomatoes, different types of uh, spinach on there, some ranch dressing, all those things go down my stomach and I'm having different reactions to all of those and my immune system is going to work like, oh, is there something bad in this one? Oh, do I gotta fight this one? Do I gotta do this? My immune system's going in overdrive. Whereas on the diet I'm on now, it's just meat. That's all it's got to process. And if your immune system is going in overdrive while you're having a toxic reaction to one of these things, you're getting sort of that double whammy. And then on top of it, it's affecting your sleep. You're snoring at night and these things are starting to snowball and you're starting to get depression and anxiety. Then there's cancer. I was just watching a YouTube video about a doctor talking about cancer. Where does cancer come from? All these billions of dollars are spent every year on cancer. Maybe it's something to do with what we're eating. And we're slowly poisoning ourselves with these processed foods, sugars and toxins, and they're causing inflammation and they're causing problems and putting stress. It's just our food. You are what you eat. It's really that simple. So I did this as an elimination diet. I was going to do it for 30 days and I don't want to stop. So we're going to see what happens. But my goal is I want to get back down. I went from 220 plus pounds down to 199. In fact, I just checked this morning, I was 198.5. So I lost 22 pounds in 30 days on this diet. Again, that wasn't my goal. And I don't care about that other than I feel way healthier now. But just to have an arbitrary goal and keep going, I'm going to try to get down to 185. So I'm going to continue doing this. After that, it's this is an elimination diet. So some people will reintroduce food and see, is that affecting me? So maybe I start uh, with some mushrooms or something and see if that affects me and try that for a couple of days. Try some spinach or something like that and see if that affects me. Maybe it was just the dairy. Maybe it was the gluten. But maybe it was maybe it was 20 different things out of the 500 different things that humans eat. So the, the goal would be to figure that out or continue just doing the carnivore diet. There's lots of people that have been doing the carnivore diet for years and years and years. And I know you guys are going to think that's crazy. Don't take my word for it. There are surgeons that have been doing the carnivore diet for years. Doctors that have been doing it for years. 
Um, a lot of them are on YouTube talking about this and they don't have anything to gain from this. Any other doctor you talk to, the only answer they have in their toolbox is to throw a pill at you. That almost never works either, by the way. So here's, uh, here's a bunch of doctors. If you want to learn more about the carnivore diet, don't take my word for it. I'm not a doctor. Do your research though. And do you want to believe the people that are selling you the food pyramid, which is a complete joke and it's completely upside down. Yeah, I'm going to listen to the food pyramid. I'm going to go eat cereal and rice and pasta all day. That's the bulk of the food pyramid. Don't listen to those people. Do your own research. There's so much information available online. And there's a lot of folks on YouTube that break all this down for you. Really smart folks, surgeons, doctors, Dr. Sean Baker, Dr. Paul Saladino, Dr. Ken Berry, Dr. Georgia Eddy, Dr. Gustin, Dr. Edes, Dr. O'Haran, Dr. Clemens, Dr. Bickman, Dr. Lyon, many, many YouTube channels. Then you have all the individuals. I've, I've been just enjoying watching the individuals. There's one called Ferrigno Freedom. I love this guy. Stuff like this has found its way back into my diet. Ultimately, it only matters whether or not I can take care of my family. I've been really surprised at how I've been able to resist the cravings. I pretty much only eat twice a day since I've been doing this. I'm hardly ever hungry. So that's it. Trimming down a little bit, feeling better. Found out about air frying ribeyes and oh my God, I don't know why I ever grilled them before. I'm actually getting blood work next Friday. 240.2. This diet has made me feel like Superman. My doctor says that everything looks good. Whatever I'm doing, keep doing it. It's amazing what's happening to me. My wife says my legs look small now, so I gotta start doing squats. Mm. You've gotta be in control of what you're doing with your body. Jen and I just happened upon his channel and he's way overweight, extremely unhealthy. We watched his video, just the first one, and I didn't realize that was two years ago. So then I watched one of his other videos and it was today. He's been doing this diet for two years. He looks like a completely transformed human. He looks completely different. He's so much healthier and he's done all of his blood work over and over again. That's another question I get is, oh, let's see what your cholesterol is gonna do. Let's see how healthy you're gonna be. Let's check your blood work. A lot of these doctors that I just mentioned and a ton of these individuals, they'll go on YouTube, they will show you their my chart from before and their my chart from after. So if you think this is gonna ruin your health or your blood work or your cholesterol, watch some of these guys and do your own research. Again, I'm not trying to sell you on this diet. I'm not trying to sell you anything. The only reason I'm doing this video is because this has been life-changing for me, life-changing for my daughter, life-changing for my mother, life-changing for so many people that I've watched and researched. If you are interested in doing it, I just encourage you, do your own research. There's so much out there. Don't do what I say and try to go do it. If someone wanted to start this, I would suggest first and foremost, you do all of your own research and make your own decisions and then maybe start doing keto and then move from keto into something like this. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to learn more, I did this keto rant video a couple of years ago. This was before I was doing carnivore, of course, but a lot of what I was talking about there, I think applies to here. It's amazing what's happening to me.